Hi everyone, my name is Diana and I'm part of the team at South Point Church. At first I wasn't sure it was a good idea for me to share my story because Jesus has so much work left to do in me. My life is good, I'm so blessed, I'm so lucky, and I'm grateful. But there are so many times when I cause myself to struggle much more than I should, and so many times when I'm just a mess. For me, my journey with Jesus has been more of an undoing than anything else. Undoing who I was and undoing who I am. When I was a young adult, I was doing all the right things by society's standards. I was working hard to reach good goals. I knew it was right and I knew it was wrong. I, at the time, knew it was best for everyone. But in the middle of doing all those right things, my world come, came crashing down and I didn't know how to fix it. I tried everything. I talked to everyone. I cried a lot. I took vitamins. I went to counseling for a short time, but nothing worked. One day, my neighbor, who didn't really know me, invited me to her church. When I walked through the doors of that church, I was greeted by an angel in the form of an usher. If you've ever been on the edge, barely holding it together, and someone gave you a genuine hug, you know that can be the worst thing or the best thing. I cried the entire service. At the end of service, there was an altar call, and as much as I wanted to get up, me being me, I couldn't bring myself to do it. As my chance slipped away, the woman sitting next to me turned and asked me a question. I don't remember her exact words, but it was she was asking me if I wanted her to lead me to the Lord, and I said yes. That was the beginning of my healing and the beginning of my undoing. It was almost immediately that I knew things that I didn't know before. I know that sounds strange, but it was as if God said to me, in the middle of all those things that you were doing right, here's what you did wrong. Over the next three or so months, every Sunday, every message was for me. Those messages reinforced and confirmed the things that God told me. I know other people got things from those messages, but I promise you, those messages were directly from God to me. During that time, after learning the hard way that my way wasn't the right way, I decided to try the Bible. I picked one verse and put it into effect in my life. That verse was something to the effect of, don't say anything unless it's uplifting. I can tell you I got very quiet during that, that time. I didn't have a lot to say, but it worked. The most difficult and volatile relationship in my life at that time became peaceful. In addition, because of the changes that happened in my life, being a newly single mom with a mortgage, a car payment, and plenty of other debt, there was no way I could make ends meet. I decided to apply God's word financially in my life. I studied the principles and I learned a lot about what the Bible says to do with, with your funds, with your money. And I can tell you that worked as well. Fast forward a few years and I found myself going through the new worst time of my life. I won't go into too many details there, but if it were not for the promises of God that I was aware of, that I had studied and learned in His Word, I would most certainly not be here today. It was also because of this experience that I learned that every man, every man, every woman, no matter what they've done or who they are, is created in the image of God, is a child of God, and is loved by God. I started my story by telling you I knew everything when I was younger. The older I get, the more I learn, but the less I know because I realize how much I don't know. Regardless of what or whatever state of undone I find myself in, there is one thing I know for sure. You can trust God's word. It cannot fail. It will not fail. So I want to say thank you for listening to my story, for those of you who stuck through to the end, and I hope that this has encouraged you to go get your Bible and look up a verse that applies to your situation and just give it a try. In the meantime, I'd like to share with you my one of my favorite verses. Um, thanks again, and here it is. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10 Thank you, everyone.